Barkley by Sid Hoff. Barkley had a job in the circus. He did tricks with four other dogs. Barkley walked on his front legs. He walked on his back legs. The other dogs stood on Barkley's back and jumped off. If one of the dogs did something wrong, Barkley barked. Barkley always led the way when they walked on a rope. Everyone clapped and cheered, and Barkley took a bow. Then he played with the children. Barkley liked that best of all. But one day, when the four dogs jumped on Barkley's back, it hurt. Another day, Barkley walked too slowly. The other dogs went ahead of him. I will be all right, thought Barkley, but he was too tired to take a bow. I think you're getting old, said Barkley's owner. That happens to all of us. The next day, Barkley's owner said, I don't want you to get hurt. Another dog is taking your place. Barkley saw the other dog doing his tricks. He did them very well. Barkley missed the clapping, and he missed the cheering, but he missed the children most of all. There must be something I can do, he thought. Barkley tried to work with the seals, but the ball would not stay on his nose. He tried to do tricks with the elephants, but he only got in their way. Barkley joined the act on the flying trapeze, but when he flew through the air, nobody caught him. I guess there is nothing I can do here, he thought. So when nobody was looking, Barkley left the circus. He walked and walked for a long time. Barkley was tired and hungry. If I do a trick, he thought, maybe someone will give me a bone. He walked on his front legs. He walked on his back legs. Nobody gave him a bone. He saw a bone in a garbage can, but somebody came and took it away. Nobody likes an old circus dog, thought Barkley. He went into a yard to rest. Children were playing there. Barkley was so happy he did some tricks for them. The children played with him, and they gave him food and water. They liked Barkley so much they wanted to keep him. We cannot keep you, said a girl. There is only one place for a smart dog like you. She took Barkley back to the circus. Where were you? asked his owner. I missed you. I didn't want you to leave the circus. We need you to teach young dogs your tricks. Barkley was very happy. He began his new job the next day. Barkley showed his tricks to the young dogs. When a dog did something wrong, Barkley barked. Now Barkley had more time to play with the children and he never left the circus again. The End